inspiration specialist and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So guys, if you're following up with me, you can see that this is part two of the prophetic word and dream that God had given to uh, me via a friend and something that uh, he had been just confirming to me in so many ways. And when I got this dream, it was really incredible. And I think probably on the last video, I'm going to, I'm going to bring everything all together. I'm just trying to be obedient and how I deliver the messages, because I know that it is very important to what God is doing for some of you in terms of how you receive the messaging. So I want to be very specific and obedient to that, um, because it's very important for your specific request. There are things that you're asking of God, and I have to make sure that I'm responding the way he's leading me to, and I'm not jumping ahead and speaking out of my flesh because I do want to honor that and I do want to be in a service to you so that you can, you know, really, really get to what it is that God has for you. And if I'm the person he's using to do it, well, then so be it. I'd like to do that for you in excellence. So with that being said, if you listen to the first prophetic word, I gave a breakdown of three things that God pointed out, right? And it was inspired by, the whole dream was inspired by Exodus 16. And that talks about how, um, God brained down bread from heaven. Definitely go read Exodus 16 to get the story in its entirety. But even in that ver even in that description, I also gave you an anchor scripture was Ephesians 3:20. Well, today's anchor scripture is Deuteronomy 1:11. Okay, and I want to break that down. But today is about a divine pivot. So the the next part of this dream. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you didn't hear the first one yet, it was an extremely long dream. So I really had to break it down. I mean, tiny bite-sized pieces. I had to because I'm probably going to end up with five of these videos and I'm going to make a playlist for it. That's why they're running about 10 minutes. The video would have probably been like an hour. I don't typically make them that long, maybe 40 something minutes, maybe near 50, but the Lord just wanted me to break this down. So I just wanted to give that disclaimer so that you guys could understand why it's in parts. And also you can sit with it. You can sit with the, sit with the shorter versions and see what God is saying. Okay. Now to the next phase of this thing. So today's video is still raining bread, but this is about the divine pivot. Now, there are three things that God showed me that were about to be blessings in someone's life where this thing is um, connecting to you. You feel like it's God. First thing is your ancestors. God God transitioned from the first part of the, the, the first word that I sent. And in this part, there are words about ancestors and covenants and bloodline blessings then he talked about an anchor. He showed me an anchor and then he gave answers. So guys, this one is going to be excellent as well. He is so good in answering these prayers. So y'all, this, this next part, I told you guys, my friend, she was at this place. She was at Piedmont Park, I believe it was. And she sees all of these people and it's not the people she planned to be there. It's still loved ones, but it was, it was beautiful. So here's what happened, y'all. So now that she turns around, right? And she starts to make eye contact with everybody. She is completely filled with emotion. It is incredible. By the way, she said this might have been the clearest prophetic dream. In fact, it was the clearest prophetic dream she's ever had. And she was filled with intense emotion. It was, it was beautiful. And she said it was so intense that when she woke up, she was crying because she wanted to go back to sleep. That's how beautiful it was. So I need some of y'all to get really excited who have been having tremendous heaviness because I know God is speaking to you. So check this out. So this is where she's looking at everything going on and she's like, wait a minute. Okay. I'm super thrilled. I'm seeing my people and y'all, she saw everybody from the smallest to the oldest. She saw, she saw grandparents. She saw all kind of other people's parents and friends and family. And these were all people connected to her. So she saw nothing but hugs and love. And everybody was just so filled with joy. They were beautiful. And it was outside in this park and everything was just gorgeous and popping. So, of course, like we do in real life, our flesh kicks in and we're like, oh, my God, I only told my little couple of people that I knew were coming that we could just, you know, take whatever you want out of the basket. There's enough food for everybody. Well, well, she goes to grab the basket and that's when she sees me in the dream. And I end up coming to her and I'm like, yo, what's up? 
And she's like, oh my gosh. She was like, Robin, like, you know, I don't know what's going on. She's like, nah, like, I know you over there busy. I know you see your loved ones. You hadn't seen them in a long time. Y'all having such a good time. It's so much love. I don't want to interrupt you. You know, she's like, I'm going to figure this out. And I was like, girl, please, they sent me over here to help you. Right? And I'm like, hold up. Catch that. Catch that. I will follow back up on that. And so meanwhile, the whole time, again, like I said, it's ancestors, it's, it's deep, deep bloodline blessings, it's deep, deep, deep bloodline showing in his dream. Again, it's super long. I'm not getting to all the details, but just know that for those of you who have, who are experiencing something that has to do with your bloodline, be it business, be it generational curses being broken. Mm, 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 yes, Holy Spirit. Any of these things, y'all, any of these things that you are feeling that are family related, especially when it comes to the blessings from previous generations. So here is what I know for sure. Those ancestors and the bloodline uh, undercurrent in the dream and the happiness that was there was, I believe, biblically, God bringing to life Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 11. And I'm going to read that to you. Now, if you are familiar with this at all, this is one of the best, most powerful blessings I know that I've read in the Old Testament. And I absolutely love it because it's, it's the real deal. And it's the one that God dropped in my spirit. And he says, listen, and may the Lord, the God of your ancestors, multiply you a thousand times more and bless you as he has promised. Now, a few scriptures dropped in my spirit, but as I kept just kind of sitting with the Lord and asking him, um, the, cause the first one that came to me was in Leviticus It's Leviticus 26. And if you read that, that one also talks about how, regardless of the bad things, the good, the bad, the disobedience, whatever, God was still going to give you the blessings of your ancestors. And I still think that that is the undercurrent, but the one scripture that I want you to lock into in addition to Exodus 16 is Deuteronomy 1 11, because you are going to get those blessings. And let me tell you one of the cool things. I don't know if, and well, most of you guys, I'm sure if you haven't have heard amazing Frankie Beverly, if you have not, that's a R and B, uh, it's like smooth R and B group, very popular. And there's a song they have called Happy Feeling and Happy Feeling was playing in the background. She's like at the, all of a sudden when she saw all her family and friends and all of this love and just abundance and people smiling and happy, she said happy feelings. And it's like happy feelings. I don't know if you heard it before, but you can catch my snap. Come on, snap with me if you're listening. Come on, come on. Happy feeling. Mm. And then it talks about happy feelings are in the air. If you never heard that song, I'll link it underneath the description so you can hear it. But it's a dope song. And she said that was like the whole play. Like happy feelings was going. People was loving on their family. And it was beautiful, right? So she said when uh, once. Okay, so wait, I wanted to be clear. So the first A is ancestors. There's three things. And y'all know I'd like to do either letters or acronyms. And in, in this particular playlist of this prophetic word and dream, I'm giving you letters. So the first A was ancestors. So let's be clear. You will be getting bloodline blessings. Some of you are working on things right now in this life where you are going to be doing things never done before in previous, uh, in previous blood, not previous bloodlines, but with previous family members. Excuse me. I'm sorry about that. You are going to be doing things that's going to blow their mind. But what you're going to find out at some point you are going to find out from either some family, some paperwork or something that you never knew about, but they were working on something similar. You are going to find out some of these giftings that you guys have. Oh boy. Y'all, some of these musical gifts, some of these cooking gifts, mm. even some of y'all, some of y'all come from a bloodline of educators that's powerful that you don't even know about. Some of y'all, oh, I got chills when I just said that. Good Lord. But some of you are, are coming from ancestry that is so rich and deep with entrepreneurship and big dreams and big goals. And some of you are going to find out that a lot of what you're experiencing, you are adding to, you are adding to the things that your ancestors already been working on for you when they were living this life. So trust me when I tell you, when God says he's still going to make you blessed as he promised, Whatever they were working on, y'all could shout, Lord have mercy, I got so many chills, Jesus. 
Whatever you are working on right now, some of you are going to literally bust heaven wide open because your ancestors was already working on it. And it's biblical. It's right there in the word of God. He's still blessing you like the ancestors. He's still honoring those covenants. This is not a game, y'all. This is not a game. And I think even in Leviticus, they go heavy on the covenants. Please study covenant. I'm going to do another video on that another day. But covenant has been coming up again for me. It's been, it's been coming up a lot. And I'm going to circle back to that another day. But it's not necessarily affiliated with this. But you are going to be experiencing a divine pivot. And as God takes you from the thing, like in, in the first the first part of the dream, in, in the first video, you will see that you will be pivoting into something else that you didn't even know God had planned for you. Okay? Now, check this out. So, number two. Okay? The second thing is anchor. Now, this is where I come in. Okay? Basically, when she's telling me all of this stuff about robbing, you know, you go back by your family. I'm like, girl, bye. They told me to come and help you. I'm coming here to help you. Well, God is going to send someone to you in the midst of what looks like chaos. What looks like, okay, it's supposed to be a blessing. All of these people are here. All of these things are going on. But I know I don't necessarily have anything to sustain it. Well, I walked up to her and said, okay, no, you take a basket. I'm going to take a basket too. And when she kept trying to tell me no, I was like, no, like, cause her, let me tell you what her concern was. I need y'all to catch this in real life. Some of y'all are concerned about things with other people when other people are ready and willing to help you. Do I need to say that again? There are people that are more than willing to help you and you are not allowing yourself the opportunity to be helped. Yo, when I walked up to her in a dream, I got chills again. When I walked up to her in a dream and said, hey, no, girl, I got you. I got you. Like, they, I'm over there chilling with my family and my friends, too, at your event. And they told me, nah, your girl need help. Go help her. I was like, bet. I, you know, I went over there to help. So she was trying to tell me to go away because I needed to go and tend to my family because I hadn't seen them in a while. And in the dream, y'all, in typical Robin fashion, this is what I thought was so funny. My little bossy self. <laughs> It's so funny, but it's, it's funny how God works. It was such a beautiful dream, but y'all, I was like, yeah, nah, like you're not doing this by yourself. I'm going to help you. Right. And it immediately relieved her. Listen, people might be coming at you with a mo with the most, they might have a high personality, a, 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 a get things done personality, a hovering personality, but this is not the time or the season for you to pick that apart. If you tanking and you sinking, y'all God trying to send you help. Don't push your help away. Don't be so concerned about what they got going on. Let them show up and help you the way God is sending them to help you. Notice how she said, they sent me. My loved one sent, sent me. Yo, that's like God is going to send someone to anchor you, to balance you, to help you out. Do not cut off your nose to spite your face. Hear me out. Do not do that. God is going to send the troops. He's going to send the person. He's going to send whoever you need to make that happen. Now, check this out. She said, "My this was my disposition. She said, I was happy. I was smiling. I was strategizing. And I was handling all the details. God is going to send you something to anchor you. So that those things will be in place. So let me tell you something. If you are in a situation, like I said in the first one, where you feel like it's a God-given thing, but you're having problems because now it's not feeling like it. Things are weird. You don't know what's going on, right? Check this out. You're probably not happy. You're probably trying to push through what you're doing, but you're genuinely just not happy. You're not happy. Well, God is going to send happiness. And I was a smiling face. She said, I came smiling. I came happy, right? So he going to send happiness and smiles. And in addition to that, if you all over the place, y'all, you got to have strategy. If you go to my link on my, my page, if you go to imwiretoinspire.com, this is not a shameless plug. I'm just trying to show y'all something. You have to have not only a strategy, but strategies help you with a system and then that'll help you with your stream, whether it's a stream of income, a stream of life, a stream of peace, whatever you're trying to stream, you got to build up before you get your stream. Even when you see a stream of water, you got to you gotta have something dug around it so that the water can flow. It has to be able to flow. Water doesn't stream by sitting still. There has to be a way made. Come on, somebody. God is making a way for you. He's anchoring you. He's making a way to hold you down. And when I say anchor, the weight of the anchor will hold you down. And that will come in the form of help. In her case, it came in the form of a person, which was me. She, it, it was me. So God going to send you somebody 
that's going to come in the form of a person and they will help you. Do not push away your help. Don't let your pride, don't let your ego, and don't let overthinking make you push these people away because this is what God is trying to send to you for help. Okay, now let me tell you the most beautiful part. So we had ancestors, we had anchor, and now we have answers. Now let me tell you how the answers came. Okay, so she was worried. She was worried because she's like, my goodness, like I just, I just don't really know, you know, what all of this means. And at the end of the day, I ended up telling her in addition to having that disposition in addition to telling her girl like you grab a basket i grab a basket we're gonna get it guess what she said she said robin your disposition in the dream was like hear me out everything is gonna be all right she so basically she had to pull from my strength in the dream she had to pull from that faith and i'm yo in her dream it was physically me but go ahead and fill in the blank who you know god is telling you to fill in the blank i'm a mere representation it can be it can be the man or the moon and it can be whomever but you have to understand that sometimes God has to send people in your life who are maybe more solid than you right now. You know what I'm saying? That can help you get through. And so that's the answer. That was the answer. That was God saying, no, listen, the answer is I got you. Not only do you not have to worry about the baskets, but I'm going to send help with the baskets. Then I'm going to send somebody who's going to know what to do with the baskets. It may not look like it, but you got to let them throw. You have to let them flourish. And at, at the end of the day, she ended up getting to, you know, the, the realization, like, wait a minute, this is amazing. I have the answers now. All will be well. And if I didn't know, roll over here handling this business naturally. And she said she knew who sent her. Well, y'all, you know who sent me? God sent me in a dream. Come on, y'all. That was God. And then we wrapping up on this one and then we're going to get to the third part because this going to be five parts, y'all. I'm telling you now, that's how this, this dream was paragraphs long. It was incredibly beautiful and awesome dream. So to wrap this one up, okay, in this, divine, in this divine pivot, God is trying to speak to you about your bloodline. He wants you to get the blessings that were left over of your, from your bloodline. So you need to seek him on if it's some curses you got to break. If it's some stuff you have to come into the realization of, if it's some stuff you have to, you have to reassess, if it's some stuff, some of y'all just have to do a family crest. Some of you have to create a family crest. Some of you have to begin to position yourself as an elite group of people that are set apart to do things. And I don't mean elitist, like you're better or higher than, but look up the definition of elite from a vantage point of you are going to be set apart. And when you think about it, think about an elite athlete. That is usually the person that's top tier, top of the game, make the most points, most winning, most winning person, blah, blah, blah. Y'all get that. That's the space we're in. Not from a space of, you know, belligerence or belittling, but of elite. Like you work hard, you set yourself apart. So many of you are working on things in your family, your future family. I know I work every day for my future family, every single day, every single day. I'm putting things to the side, putting things to the side, putting things to the side, whatever that may be. Because when you know God is showing you something so incredible for your future ahead, you have to start preparing for that now. So that is very important for you to remember. So once you got that part checked off, the next part is the anchor again. God is going to send somebody. He is going to send somebody to help. Now, something that's dropping in my spirit is that God is going to send somebody he knows that you can be comfortable with. A familiar person, not a familiar spirit, not the same thing. A person that you know that you can be trusted around and you can, and they can be trusted around you. And there is peace in your connection or your union or whatever it is. And he is going to open that door for his nice, awesome ebb and flow so that they can help you. Because let me tell you what this person represents. I know what I represented in this dream. I had no judgment. There was nothing in me in the dream saying, oh, girl, why you got all the people out here? Oh, no, no. I immediately said, listen, it's all right. You got too many people. You think you have too many people? I know God got us. Remember I told you she also said I was so confident. I was like, oh, girl, this is nothing. There was no judgment. Get away from people who are attacking you. Get away from people who keep saying this, this and this. God is going to send people that are going to be able to hear you out and hear you clearly. And you just have to listen though, y'all. Now, one thing she did in the dream, she listened. She did not fight. She did not fight it. When God sent the help, she didn't fight it. Don't fight the help. Don't ignore the help. 
She was literally like, nah, go back to where you came from. Go back by your people because, you know, I, I'm going to figure it out. No, God is figuring it out for you and he's going to send help. So that's the thing. Today for the divine pivot of rain and bread is ancestral blessings and anchor is coming to hold you down. And God is giving you the answers. This is an incredible word. We just getting started. This is part two. Make sure you check back. Check the playlist if you didn't catch the first one for part three of It's Raining Bread. I cannot wait to do this next one. God bless y'all on Wired to Inspire. I hope you are too.